against the Republican agenda. We insist, we demand, and we will fight for good jobs, affordable education, health care, peace, and equality. We'll inscribe those words on our banner and we'll march behind them just like we have right here today. We all know that the weather has affected the turnout of this rally. And I want to be very, very clear about this. Many people, many people believe that the storm would be a great threat. The reality is, and I just have to be truthful about this, we have a turnout that's a little bit lower. In fact, it's a lot lower. But the reality is, as well, that you are here, you're speaking out, and regardless what the conditions we have today, wind, rain, etc., we are going to be marching on the Tampa Bay Forum, the site of the RNC, the place that the, re the, place that the Republicans themselves fled from because they're worried about rain, and we're going to speak out. I think we all know what the political situation in this country is. We live in a society that's dominated by the 1%, that's organized, that's organized around the needs of corporations, if you call them needs, their desire for profits, and it's at the expense of the rest of us. This is a situation that's unacceptable. This is a situation that we've come together to change. For this reason, we built a coalition, a coalition of 70 organizations, trade unions, community groups, immigrant rights groups, anti-war organizations that are determined, determined to speak out against the Republican agenda. Now, in the course of this rally, you're going to be hearing a lot of important speakers. And when I look at those speakers, I'm going to bear in mind this that they represent hundreds of thousands and if not millions of people in their organizations and they represent the collective aspirations of the people of the United States and people of around the world who want something better. We look forward to this march. You're here. More people will be here. We're determined. Say no to the Republican agenda. Thank you very much. Every out there, when I say people, you say power. People! People! When I say student, you say power. Student! Student! When I say worker, you say power. Worker! 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 worker. Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going out there? That's right. Next up, we have James Engel, who is with the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Engel is the Vice President of the International, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 1205, and an activist from Gainesville, Florida. James has participated in city elections and desires to push the interests of working people and working families to the forefront of politics. How we doing out there? In 1963, Dwight Eisenhower gave a speech in which he said, every dollar that this country spends on war is in fact a theft. A theft from every hungry person in this country, a theft from the people that need shelter. That was a Republican leader speaking. Back when the Republicans had some idea that a government is responsible for the well-being of its people. That Republican party is dead and gone. It has been replaced by one that is, is driven by greed and fear. And it's appropriate that this new Republican Party has decided to come to Florida because they have been in charge of our state house for about a decade and a half. And it has been disastrous. We live in a state that is second in number of millionaires and 37th in wages. We live in a very rich state full of very poor people. You know, we live in a state where every year Budget cuts come along, and there are demands for cuts from education, for transportation, from, you know, sacrifices are demanded from those who can least afford it. And those sacrifices are laid on the altar of tax cuts for the wealthy and favors for the powerful. It has been disastrous for this state, and if they win in November, it will be disastrous for this country. A Republican victory in November is a giant step backwards for this country. But it's important to remember that a Republican defeat is not necessarily a step forward. It is going to take a lot more than one election. 
Any real victory is going to take the people, the workers of this country, coming together, holding politicians responsible, well past November. The working people coming together is the only thing that can change this country. It's the only thing that ever has changed this country. The people united can never be defeated. Say it with me. The people united can never be defeated. The people united can never be defeated. I hope you guys are here for the long term because it's going to go way past November. Thank you.